when the fish study was accepted, we asked, could you also test for PFAS? Just, just to see, when you're testing the fish for mercury, whatever, could you test for this? And then it came back that there was at an elevated level high enough to issue a fish advisory. And PFAS, because it's used in Scotchgard, and because of the location to the tannery, it gave that much more, one more level of concern. It's like, okay, we know that you used it because you, these documents say you did. This is where you stored it, right here. The fish right here have it. There isn't anybody else who's producing using Scotch Guard or anybody near here. Oh, and by the way, what Wolverine owns the property. And oh, by the way, Plainfield Township knows about it too. And then we find out that Plainfield Township, even though they know there's a dump site there, or they're still issuing building permits and mill permits. It makes it very hard when you see real lives impacted by this. When this first came out in 2017, I probably spent six months just grieving for it all. It's like I felt numb. I did not want it to be true. It was like, I just want to know that it's not true. I just want to know these people are safe. I didn't want to know that it was this bad. I'd hoped it wasn't this bad.